Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer in the week after All Saints Sunday at St Luke's Church, Ecclesill. The purpose of morning prayer is that we can read the Bible and hear God speaking to us. So you will need a Bible for this service so that you can read it yourself. Uh, and you'll also need a facility for pausing the video and p making sure that you can listen to God while you're doing that rather than listening to me. And we begin our service by asking God into our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit in order that we can hear him directly through his word. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Stephen and I have a project for singing through the Sing Praise hymn book during the year and Stephen has chosen a hymn for each day of the year and here is today's. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Each day, morning prayer has a psalm or selection of psalms in order that we can be directed to God and worship him. They were originally songs, of course, rather than poems. Uh, and here's a sung version of one of the ones set for today. God has made his saints 
victorious in the battles they prevail. Though their trials may be laborious, though they fear that they are frail, are the pressed yet not distressed, for God's firm promise does not fail. Living God, I will exalt you, worship you, and bring you praise. Violent men will never halt you, nor remove me from your ways. By your grace I see your face, your loving kindness all my days. And you might like to pause the video and look those psalms up in your own Bible and reflect on them. In Advent and the weeks before it, the Church of England traditionally reads the book of the prophet Isaiah for its Old Testament reading. Please pause the video and read the portion appointed for today. And in the New Testament, we are looking at the Gospel of Matthew in this period of the year. Please pause the video and read the portion appointed for today. We like to provide a hymn or song to enable us to meditate on the Bible reading and what it might mean. So here's one which is suggested by today's reading. God of prophecies, God of oracles, God of purposes long foretold, send your Christ to fulfil in miracles all your promises Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, humbled once with the exile's plight. Shadow lands on the way to Galilee, you have seen a glorious light. On your wretchedness, on your hopelessness, on your helpless and darkened way, light has dawned, bringing hope and fruitfulness, night transformed into And so let us turn to prayer, let us adore our Lord God, let us thank him for who he is, and let us seek his blessings in our life. Let's put before him the concerns on our own hearts, in order that we can see his answers and his transformation of our lives. Please pause the video while you pray. The Collect for this week, the fourth before Advent. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray using the words of the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the God who called us and set us apart fill us with his love today. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.